So I'm just here doing a bit of um, a major service on my 990. It's um, got about 95,000 Ks on it at the moment. Uh, so I've done a valve check and while I, was, while I had the tanks off and the airbox uh, off, I um, decided I'd replace the throttle position sensor. It, the throttle's been a little bit misbehaving a little bit lately and um, that's often a, a point of failure on these bikes. So I thought I'll get a new one in there. It was about 200 bucks. Um, and I'll start with that. You know, it might be something else, but it's always good to keep them um, relatively new. Every 50,000 Ks or so is probably a, a good um, time to swap them out, just to prevent any uh, chance of you getting into trouble when you're on a trip, because they can be pretty tricky to deal with if they start failing when you're away from the garage. So I'm a fair bit through the process um, already. You can see that I've got the throttle bodies back on already. Um, and I've also got the left-hand tank on so that I can run the bike, obviously the fuel pumps in this side, so that I can start the bike up, warm it up to operating temperature. So you do need to do the adjustment when the bike is up to operating temperature. Um, so this is just, because I'm taking a bit slow, this just allows me to start it up and warm it up before I do that. First step is gonna be to adjust the throttle. And to do that, we have to hook the laptop up um, and use a special utility in Tune ECU to set the stepper motor to the zero position. So first we put a bit of slack in the in the cables, set it to zero, adjust them, and then we're good to go with the TPS. So the first thing I want to do is to back these adjusters off all the way so that we've got a lot of slack um, in the cable and the throttle's nice and loose. And so there's no chance that we've got a pull on either of them. Um, and the best way to do that is just to pop or to test that is just to pop your hand down there. You should be able to feel um, like two little guitar strings there that they're both nice and loose before um, we zero out the stepper motor. So once they're nice and loose, uh, you can do them up here or down there in the airbox. Um, for mine at the moment, there's enough play to do them up here. Um, if they're really out, then you might need to do some adjustments down there on the throttle body as well. Uh, but either way, get them nice and loose. And then let's hook up the cable and zero it out. Somewhere under your seat, you should have a connector like this, which is what we're going to use to hook the laptop up to the ECU. Um, and it's got this blanking plug on just uh, to keep it clean. Um, so you're going to pull that off and plug your Tune ECU compatible cable onto that. This is my Tune ECU cable. Um, so it's a pre-made unit. I'm pretty sure I got it from this loanelec.co.uk company. I might have got it on eBay. I can't really remember. Um, anyway, what it does is it takes it from this proprietary KTM connector um, to an ODB2 uh, interface there. So there's two parts. That's the first part. And then this is just a sort of generic ODB2 to USB. I found that the most reliable way is to plug the cable in first to the bike and the laptop, uh, then start up Tune ECU, and then turn the ignition on. Um, for whatever reason, if you do it in a different order, sometimes it seems to get confused and tune issue, it just doesn't seem to connect uh, properly. So I've got the cable plugged in, um, I've started up the laptop, I'm just going to open up tune ECU now. Alright, so tune ECU is started up and it should be looking for a connection by the cable now. Obviously it's made to support a lot of different bikes, so it says Triumph at the moment, but as soon as it has found the ECU, it should say KTM. So I'm going to turn on the ignition. And we can see it's starting to read. There we go, it switches to KTM. And we've got a few different um, figures here. On the dash, we've got the two air pressure sensors and we've got our TPS measurement, which at the moment is 0.68. So we're not going to worry about that for now. First of all, we're just going to adjust the throttle. So what we do is we go to the bottom left of the screen. Oh, sorry, first at the top right, make sure we're on tests. At the bottom left, we're going to see there's the adjust throttle cable um, option. So we're going to double click that. And as we do that, we should hear the stepper motor resetting to zero. Sounds a bit like a printer. Right, so with that zeroed out, I'm going to do the actual adjustment. So um, I've actually done it already, but again, just kind of get the tension pulled up 
here with these two adjusters and feel down in the airbox with my finger. Um, so I tend to get it quite tight and then just back it off about um, one turn. So there is about three to five mil play in there. So I don't have to rush too much to strip it down really quickly um, while the bike's still warm. I've um, tried to make my life a little bit easier by drilling myself a little adjustment um, hole in the side of the airbox, which you should be able to see just below that yellow dot there. Um, so that's a, a 7.5 mil hole that I've drilled in the airbox. That'll just allow get, give me access to that screw right there where you can see just in front of my middle finger. That's the mounting screw for the TPS. Um, so that's what we're going to use to adjust it. So the reason that's a 7.5 mil hole is so that I can get this tool through the side. So this is a, a uh, from just from one of those screwdriver, you know, screwdrivers with replaceable bits. Um, it's a T25 Torx that we need to adjust that screw um, that holds the TPS in and um, that's about a 7mm diameter that thing, so 7.5mm hole. Okay, now it's time to just run the bike for a few minutes and get it warmed up until um, we've got about 4 bars on the temperature gauge and good opportunity just to make sure that um, the thermo switch is working. I've just replaced the coolant as well and I do recommend that you um, run it just to make sure um, it's all good and then check the uh, coolant level afterwards. So I'll do that at the same time. Nice and warmed up, so uh, let's get that throttle position screw loosened up, hook to the ECU back up, and um, get that voltage adjusted. The first thing that we're going to need to do again is just uh, run the adjust throttle cable um, function here, so get the stepper motor back down to zero before we adjust. We'll do that now. You'll see it's dropped down from 0.64 to 0.61 as I hit that. I got my little uh, T25 Torx bit and my magic orifice in the side of the airbox. So I'm going to try and get to that mounting screw there. A little difficult to see on the video, but you get the idea. And I have here the world's uh, smallest shifting spanner. So I can get that in nicely on the side there and turn that. So I'm just going to need both hands. So. I'll stop recording for a minute while I loosen that up. It's nice and loose now. So I'm just gonna get my hand in through the port on the side so I can get a good grip on the TPS itself. I'm gonna move it up and down until I get the correct voltage on the laptop. So we're going for 0.6. Just be careful because as you tighten up the screw, it will twitch a little bit and, and shift again. So just take it slow. Adjust it as you tighten the screw. Try and keep it on 0.6. And don't over tighten it. We're just going to uh, reset the adaptions. Now, I'm actually not 100% sure what the adaptions are. Uh, but I, as I understand it, there's sort of a history of the measurements recorded by all the various sensors uh, that the ECU tries to use to, to learn a little bit about the environment. Um, but you can reset them. So we're going to reset them because we've uh, made adjustments to uh, the TPS. We're going to need TPS in there. Um, so similar to the cable adjustment procedure, just double click in the bottom left, say yes. There we go. And um, while I'm at it, I'm just going to erase the error codes. I've only got one error code from just connecting the plug at the top of the airbox, so obviously nothing to worry about. Final step is just going to be to plug up my little hole that I made in the side of the airbox. Um, so I've just got a little screw to do that with and a couple of washers. I'm going to use a plastic or nylon washer on the outside to try and encourage a better seal, put a pressure on it. Um, and a steel washer on the inside just to spread the force of the plastic of the airbox and an eye like nut, so hopefully that won't come undone. Um, so that'll just let me drop the 10mm uh, down into the side of the airbox, right near where the TPS screw is, um, and I can tighten that up with my 
Allen key, put my plug back on the, the uh, port cable under the seat, and we're all done. You've probably heard uh, more than enough from me now, but I hope that procedure might have helped you a little bit if you're going to attempt this yourself. Um, there's possibly things that I've got wrong or misunderstood about this um, myself, so it's probably a good idea to have a look at any comments on this clip to see if um, anyone else might have added some clarifications. And if you did spot something that I might have overlooked, please do comment um, so that um, if I've made a mistake, that uh, it doesn't go viral. Uh, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope it helped. Cheers.